Welcome to Washita Mountain Living Podcast. As you can see, I'm in the new construction zone. Let's flip around here and look at her. You'll have to excuse Tilly in the background barking. She thinks it's supper time. So her, her clock is a little off. It is not. All right. I got all my outlets wired and they are live. See that lamp's plugged into it. Do you see? So that's what I've been doing. I tried to get one out on the Washita Mountain channel yesterday. It didn't uh, succeed. So right now where I'm at, I'm going to be start starting on the ceiling here in a bit, putting the uh, slats across. All right, we're going to have to go yell at a puppy dog. That is enough. It is not supper time. Do you hear me? It's an hour away. You go lay down. I'm not going to listen to you. Oh, let's go in the office. Place is a disaster, guys. Tools, whatnots everywhere. So the electric's done over here. Now I got to do the electric for the wiring for the light up here. So I got to get them uh, slats up there. I'm just going to use the slats that I took off of there. They're one by fours. Why go buy more? Yeah, right, let's go in the office. All right. Fly. Just thought I'd give you guys an update on this channel. Not that you're not the same people on my other channel, but there may be some people on this channel that don't know about my other channel. And if you don't know about the other channel, look in the description. It's called The Dog Man. That is my main channel. You can follow along with my remodel and all the projects around here that I am beginning. And man, am I going to be busy in March. Because I plan to put in new countertops in the kitchen. Tomorrow, I'm pulling out the stove. I've got one more thing i got to cook on that stove. Then I can pull it out. i got raviolis in there. And I have to boil it. And then I pan fry them. After that, it's coming out. Saturday, my new induction oven will be here. We'll be getting new countertops. Those were always temporary. I picked them up at a, like a yard sale for 20 bucks. They were never meant to be permanent. So we get some nice looking countertops, a new sink, a new nice nozzle, faucet, whatever you want to call it. You know, the one that has that too. I like that. And uh, just going to get it done and get the flooring in. I'm not going to enjoy doing the flooring. It's probably going to take me a week. But I'm going to do it. That's going to be my last big pain in the butt project for this house. Whew, been 10 years without a, a floor, just concrete. But no, it's just still a floor. You can still walk on it. It doesn't hurt. But it's just ugly. And it gets a little cold in the winter. But other than that, hey, I'm just going to stay busy, get it all done the way I want to get it done. A lot of times when I when I first bought this place, I did what I could do with what money I had. And, you know, sometimes that wasn't much. So now I'm going to get it all right. Uh, we got this room finished. This will become the pantry. I will get at least four or five good shelves in here. Stock canned goods, whatever. Because times can be getting a little rough. Uh, may, hopefully it don't. But the way things are going, who knows? But it doesn't hurt to be prepared. You know, stocking canned goods, I, you just, as you eat them, re replace them. And you always have that stock. So that's what I'm doing. I'm, re I'm stocking things that, hey, if the whole, you know, I was watching something. Uh, I've watched several videos on this. If we have a solar flare that's big enough and, and it, it's happened for millions of years, but when we had them, they had one in like 1859, and it caused a, a lot of issues. But the problem back, you know, the difference between having one in 1859 and having one today is today everything is dependent on power. Solar flares will knock out all the power. You won't have be able to use credit cards. You won't be able to access your bank. You won't be able to do anything. So if you're not prepared... At least where you can have food, you know, if, 
because it could take months, even years, to get that back up and going after a solar flare. And that could also, you know, if the power goes down worldwide, nationwide, that could cause a lot of other serious issues that we don't think about. You know, you got an electric car, where are you going? Yeah, where are you going to go if you got an electric car? How are you going to charge it? Solar? Nope. So people don't think ahead. They want us to buy all those so that we don't go nowhere if there's a solar flare. But I'm, uh, you know, stocking up on a lot of canned goods, rice, beans. I've got some life straws. If you don't know what a life straw is, let me show you. Just like that, I'm back. All right, this is a life straw. And what this thing does, you can take this. It's a straw that you can put down in a nasty, dirty creek and drink the water, and it filters everything out of it. 99.9% .9 of pathogens. And it's good for a thousand gallons of water. So if you don't have a water source, this is a water source. And I got two of them. Two thousand gallons of water right here. I don't know why this one came in this package and this one came in this package. So that, those are good items to have. Also got, well those aren't, those are for my food. I got some emergency, you know, them space alien emergency blankets. And then I also got... I haven't opened these before. These are fire starters. You know, the kind. Use the spark. Those aren't bad to have. I got a lot of, you know, just things that you would use in an emergency. Got a big first aid kit. I've been stocking up on peroxides. I even got an extra supply of antibiotics. Yep. My doctor let me have some. So, it's always good to be prepared. And it, you know, it not, it ain't necessarily going to be something hap you know, something due to the economy. It could be something natural, a natural disaster. We are long overdue for major earthquake, flood, whatever. So it doesn't hurt to be prepared. And, you know, the worst case scenario, you got a bunch of stuff. So it doesn't hurt. All right, guys, I'm going to get back to my uh, work. I just thought I'd put one on here for the last day of the month. Happy leap year. And I'm going to get back to work doing some wiring and get these lights and get the, uh, the slats put up for my metal roof. And then maybe tomorrow I'm going to go get that metal and the sheetrock. I was going to get the sheetrock today, but I'm not quite ready for it. I uh, made some changes to my electrical. Uh, there's some more prep work I got to do. And I got to tear that one piece. There's one piece in the corner of sheetrock the old, the, with all the nails in it. I'm going to tear that off. And just put, because that way I don't have to put the angle. I can put it in just one square piece there. All right. Thank you for watching. Be sure to turn it, tune in a dog man if you want to follow along. Happy trails.